Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope the eclipse was eventful for you. Um, had my glasses with me at work, so I was able to check that all out. Anyway, I had some leftover um, foiling pieces from our foiling demo on the weekend, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about reverse foiling. It is not my forte, so I'm looking at just seeing how we can get this to work just a little bit better. Uh, not perfecting it because we're always going to have some times where things just don't work. Um, but if this is the result that you get occasionally from your reverse, here's a couple of little things that I have learned. Uh, you need to be patient. So hold on, let that piece of foil cool right down. Uh, it will make the transfer a little bit easier. So we did a couple of uh, foils on the weekend for a demo. Here's some results that we ended up with. These were gorgeous. We had a lot of fun with this, creating different shapes and different outcomes. Um, we did this one as well. So that's done with a translucent pink foil. And we are going to take that color and we are going to take this teal color and we're going to do the reverse and see what happens. Um, I'm going to put this one to the side. This was my result and I was rushing and being a little quick. So I just want to see if we can do a little bit of a perfection here on this. I am using the Go Press and Foil uh, by Couture Creations uh, and we were using a variety of um, foils. So Couture Creations Gold and Silver is what we were using and then we were using Spellbinders Translucent um, and some uh, shimmer ones. So the first one that I want to start with is this green which is the reverse to the circle and this one came out really really nice. This was one of the last ones we did, so we had a little bit more patience and we, we sat and just made sure that we let that cool down right away. Um, I did one this morning already and I'm not sure why or how, but this is the turnout for it. We were working with black. Uh, looks really grungy, so don't ever throw your pieces out. Keep them and see if you can manipulate them into a project that you are doing. Because really, uh, there are no mistakes, just unique creations. So I am going to hang on to these. These are grungy. Got some grunge stuff that we can work with. And uh, they're still going to work. So what I did was, is I took a, a white sheet. Um, this is Astro Bright. And it is the 80 pound. And I'm going to put this on here, giving it a little bit of room on the side. And what we're going to end up doing, I'm just going to bring my go foil and press over a little bit. So we're going to put this in here. And I've got my plate and I've let this heat up. So this has been heating up for about 10 minutes now. So it is quite hot on there. So we're going to open up our plate. Hang on a second here. Suction cups are getting in the way. So let's just put that there like that. I am going to put my foil right down. And I'm actually going to let that sit there for just a moment without the paper on top. I'm going to let that heat up just a little bit. You can feel the heat coming through that. So no longer than 10 seconds and we are going to put our paper right on top. Okay, and we're going to bring our lid down and we're going to let that sit for at least three or four minutes. And I want to be pressing this down because I want to make sure that the heat is going right through the whole entire plate. When you have your little um, metal shim in there to do this. I find that the top doesn't hold down as, as well. Um, so I like to give it a little bit of pressure as it is heating up. And I'm just sort of rubbing my hand across the top. So 
So we're going to let that heat up and we'll be back in about three minutes. Okay, our three minutes have passed. I've been rubbing it through our three minutes. Just be careful you don't burn your hand because it is quite hot. Okay, we're going to take this off. And that's what that looks like. So we're going to run that through our um, Sizzix machine. Let's put that, so let's put this back down. Okay, we're going to peel this off. Let's move that over here. And I'm using two shims on this um, because my machine is a little bit older. I just find that um, it doesn't roll great. So we're going to add two shims. We're going to put that through. And I'm rolling really, really slow. So I really want this to adhere. So we're just going to keep going through. And I'm going to roll right back. You can hear that cracking going so you know that it's going to be tight. Okay, so let's just see what this looks like. So that rolled out really nice and smooth. So now we're going to wait. We really have to let this cool down and we're going to hope that this comes out without any of that marbling or missing um, foil. So hopefully we don't see that. So I'm going to let this cool for a good minute. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so our one minute has passed. You want to make sure that that is really cool. Okay, you don't want to have any heat coming off of that when you start to peel. So let's see what happens. And we're going to really remove it slowly. We've got a little bit that didn't work down in here. That's okay. We had a little bit that didn't work up in here. We had some way up here that didn't work. So we had a lot up at the top here that didn't work. So did we not get that pressed properly? That will be the key. For this one, it didn't really matter too much for myself. I was going to do it in a circle anyway. So I'm just gonna quickly die cut that so we can see what the end result is. So we do have a little bit where it's coming through here. For the most part, it's not bad. So we've got our two. One that's the full reverse and then one that's just the plate itself. So we're going to try another one. These are the words that we were using and we're going to do white on black and we're going to see how this works and see if we can get that to come out full white. So we're going to heat this up. Let's just bring the press over. Okay, let's fix our plate. We're going to put this this way this time. We're going to do this. And I actually want to put this on a bit of an angle. We're going to see if that makes a difference when we put it through our Sizzix and see what happens. So let's pull that down. And we'll see you in about four minutes. Okay, we're back. I have been rubbing this while this has been going for its four minutes. So we're going to take this off and we are going to run this through the machine. Let's see what happens with this. Oops, let's turn this around. Hopefully you can see that. Pull that out. And again, I'm going to put my shims in. 
and hopefully this will help push it through. Now I'm not putting as much resistance on this, so I think I'm gonna put another shim through on the way back. I changed my shims. Let's put another one in. And I'm just using cardboard as my shims. Um, I'm not getting anything fancy. So we're gonna move this back and there's a little bit more resistance there. So, and we're gonna roll that through. And notice how slow I'm going because we really want those rollers to be pushing that foil onto the paper. Okay, let's see how this one looks. All right, that doesn't look too bad. It's quite smooth. So we're gonna let that sit. We've got a little bit of empty spaces in there where some of that foil transferred um, onto the paper when we did these in on the, um, our other grouping. So we are gonna see a little bit of foil missing in there. Now, what you can do is you can actually put that back through if you want. I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But again, you wanna let that cool down. And then we're gonna peel. So as you can see from here, we've got pieces that did not stick and it's gonna look real grungy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to put this back down and we'll see if that makes a difference. So let's put it back down. I'm going to heat this back up. Okay, we're just going to push where that section was. And I got fo some foil here. I have to scratch that off. Okay, we're just gonna do this very quickly. We don't need to hold it on here for the four minutes again. We're just gonna do this quickly. So that heated up. See how it does not want to reheat? So you've got to do the heating of it on the first pass. And this one did not like this paper at all. This is a black coated paper. It's got a sheen on it, didn't like it at all. So we gotta remember that we're using just a regular black non-coated matte paper, not a shiny glossy paper, it just doesn't like it. Okay, I wanted to try one more. This is with the Couture Creations Gold Foil. We'll see how that works. And I am using Michael's 110 pound paper. We'll see if this makes a difference. You never know. So let's get this on our plate. And I have cut this down so that it fits our cardstock almost perfectly. And we're gonna put that down. And give that a little rub just so that it stays. Put that down and we are going to actually wait five minutes on this one as I'm rubbing it a little bit. Uh, I want to give this one a little bit longer um, and I'm actually going to do an actual time with the phone to see if that's making any difference regarding um, the stickability to the paper. Um, timing is everything. Again, like I said, we're gonna push this down. We're gonna rub to make sure that everything gets uh, heated up. And I'm gonna leave it on here for an extra minute to see if that makes a difference. So we'll see you back in five. Okay, we are back. I have actually let this sit for about six minutes. And I have rubbed it just like I did before. Um, hopefully this is gonna make a difference in how this adheres to the paper. So I'm just gonna move this over. Um, let's bring in our die cutting machine. 
I've also cut some new shims. So I took some packaging. I actually had some crackers here and I took the packaging and we're going to use that as the shim because our shims were getting quite used and I want to make sure that we've got a nice even roll on here. So we're going to take that off. These are a bit thicker. So two of these should work. Let's put that through. <clears throat> And let's see how this works. So we've got some good resistance happening. And I am really going slow. And I am actually going to roll this three or four times back and forth. And we'll see if that makes a difference in the way that things adhere to the paper. Because we seem to have a lot of variables happening here. Okay, let's go back. And then once this one's done, we're actually gonna try our last one and it's black foil on a piece of weave paper. And we're gonna see if that um, adheres or does not. Again, paper does make uh, a difference. This should be our last one going back. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay, that looks beautiful. It will all be in the peel, of course. So we are going to let this cool and I'm actually going to give it extra time. So I'm going to do a full two minutes on this. So we'll see you back in two. Okay, we're back. This has cooled down nicely. I'm almost afraid to pull the top peel off. Um, would anything happen if you leave it on? Probably not. Uh, if you plan on cutting it, you just have to be very careful about the edges. But we are going to pull just because I want to see if the longer time made a difference. Let's just see here. And no, it did not. So we're gonna have a very grungy looking floral piece. So with that being said, if you don't want to peel, don't peel. I don't mind the look, uh, but you know, if you want that smooth look, maybe peeling on this one wasn't such a good idea. Anyway, extra time didn't seem to make a difference. Extra rolling didn't seem to make a difference. 110 pound paper didn't seem to make a difference. So is it the age of the foil? That's a question that I can't answer. So we're going to try one more. This one is black foil. And this is on a 65 pound weave. So there is a smoother side, but I'm going to use the weave side because I actually want to see what's going to happen with this. So this is just a little test. So let's get our foil down. And again, I have cut the paper to almost fit perfectly. Weave side down. Okay. So again, I'm actually going to leave this for a little bit longer. I'm going to do the five minutes and we will see if this makes a difference. Okay, we've done our five minutes. I'm gonna give it one little rub here. Let's move this over. And let's peel this off. Uh-oh. Nope, we're good. Let's pull this out. We're gonna run this through our machine. Let's get those shims in there. We 
We're gonna keep running this through. Again, two or three times to really press that down. And let's see what happens. There's another one that looks really good. I'm almost afraid to pull the backing off. But you can see that it's kind of bubbling up here. So if you leave that plastic on, it's eventually gonna fall off. So we're gonna let this cool. And then I think I'm gonna try one more and we're gonna leave it on for a little less time. So three minutes and we're going to roll it a little bit more and we're going to see if that makes a difference depending on what the results are of this. Because if leaving it on longer makes a big difference, then it's in the best interest to leave that one on longer and then we'll see what happens. I'm going to let this cool down. We don't want to rush it can see peeling it up here there's a little bit where it hasn't stuck but let's just keep this see what happens with it we'll let that cool down for a minute okay so we've let that cool for the minute let's do a peel and let's see what happens well, so far it doesn't like the weave paper Although I'm finding this quite cool, it really doesn't like it. There's too much going on in the paper for it to adhere. Not sure that that can be salvaged. So there you go. No weave paper on reverse foiling. Too much little indents in there. All right, on to the next. Let's get that one going. So I'm going to do blue as the background with copper. And this is a smooth paper. And I am going to actually cut this down because we want to make sure that it fits into our paper. So let's just take a moment to cut that down. Let's get that over a little bit. All right, let's try heating this up and see what happens on this paper. So we're gonna put this down. Let's put that on top. We've got a little, a little excess. It's all right. Okay, let's get this down. And we're only gonna do this one for four minutes and we're gonna see if that makes a difference. Actually, we're gonna do three. Let's just try the three, see what happens. See you back in three. Okay, we're back after our three minutes. Let's just give this a little rub here. Bring over the die cutting. Let's move this to the side. And this time I'm only gonna do one pass with the shims. Let's try that out. We'll see what happens. So the shims are getting used for sure. So I'm actually gonna add one more in there because the resistance is not the same as when we first started. So let's try that and see what happens. And again, we're only gonna put, push this through once more like this. We're not gonna do all those passes. We'll see if that makes a difference. There are a lot of what ifs here in this segment of reverse foiling. All right, let's move this out.
Again, it looks beautiful. The key is what's it gonna look like when we peel off the top. So that'll be the key. All right, we're gonna let this sit for our minute and then we'll see what happens. All right, let's see what happens when we peel this one back. We've let it sit for its minute. It's actually quite cool, so that's good. Um, I love how the blue is coming through on this, so I hope that this translates nice when I peel it off. Um, let's just take a little look and see. So far, not looking good. I'm not opposed to the way that it looks. I'm just curious as to why we're not getting an even foil. The blue through this looks stunning. I absolutely love that there's blue behind there. I'm gonna have to keep on doing uh, more research and watching more videos as to why this doesn't want to foil like a solid piece. Do you have tricks that you've used to get yours to foil properly? Do you have a method that works for you? Comment if you have something that you use that you find works. I would love to hear how you tackle these problems. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the what ifs of this video and have a great afternoon.